Williams or Arroyo. My name is Kelsey McCarson. I cover combat sports for heavy. I'm excited to talk to you, man. I feel like you're in a big fight. This is going to be your third opportunity to win a world flyweight title against Julio Cesar Martinez on February 27th. How are you going to get it done this time? I've been training very hard. I got to be smart and I got to keep busy. I got to dominate the fight. I got to be first in every movement and be smart. Let's see if um, I have what it takes. Uh, camp has been great. I've been working very hard, working a lot of rounds in the in the sparring sessions, um, working a lot of cardio. We feel good. The weight is good. Um, everything's going great. You know, come 27th, I'm going to be in, in the best um, condition possible. So, you know, the best man will win that night. Do you feel like this is your last chance at a world title? You're, what are you, 35 years old? Yeah, 35, but I believe so. I, I, I don't feel like I'm 35. I feel like I'm 20. You know, I, I feel great. But, you know, it is what it is. Maybe it could be, but I don't think about that, you know. I just feel great. Training is great. And um, I'm very confident and uh, I believe in myself. You're definitely one of the best fighters in the world. You fought a whole slew of really excellent fighters, beat some of those guys and lost uh, decisions to some of them, lost close fights. Julio Cesar Martinez is a young guy, a guy that comes forward a lot, a guy that switches his stances a lot. How do you prepare for something like that? All my life, I fought with different styles, even in the amateurs. So that does uh, give me a plus on, on my side. I've, I've fought in a lot of styles of fighters. So um, I'm a smart guy. I know how to fight. I know how to box. So I, I, I do know that I got to be smart, but also I got to be aggressive. And being aggressive could... Uh, switch up the fight for both of us. You, you know, you might see a knockout in this fight for either side. You were in a great fight with Roman Gonzalez, what, in 2016. And he's a guy, and that was when he was at his peak, right? And he was coming Yeah, right. he, was the, he was the pound for pound fighter. After yeah. the fight, I remember I looked in his eyes and I said, hey, you said you were going to knock me out. What happened? Yeah. You had a pretty weekend that gave you a hell of a fight. That he was just not he he put he bought he just you know turned around he didn't even talk to me that was a hell of a fight and a fight yeah. that i think showed like how really great a fighter you are maybe you haven't yeah. had the opportunity i do believe like this fight is your opportunity um to kind of show what i think i already know and that you're one of the best flyweights in the world yeah let's see let's see um you know i've been training hard and uh let's see what happens it's a uh, puerto rico versus mexico right that's a big rivalry in boxing yeah. Um, yeah, another classic. That? Hopefully, it's going to be a, a real packed fight. Um, you know how the history is, Me Mexico versus Puerto Rico fights. You know, I bet the, the crowd and the public is going to be on their tippy toes watching this fight, you know, yelling and screaming, even though they're not there to present it. To see it or view it, they'll see it up by TV. You know, they're going to be seeing an action-packed fight. I mean, I mean, those are the best, uh, the people that are going to watch it, are the best to get, you know, see the action. They're going to be very happy. Those are some of both of our styles are very, very aggressive. So, you know, there's probably a knockout going to be in this fight. He got your opponent. Um, he's a really interesting fighter. He's 26. The thing that um, confounds me about him is how he's able to kind of switch stances while he's walking forward. Right. They teach you not to do that. Yeah. What do you think about that? I mean, I he does do that, which is an error, but he does do it explosively. So um, he's he's gotten the best of it, you know. But um, he better be smart. I'm gonna be smart. So let's see who's smarter and and who who who's the best man in the fight. Yeah, I can't wait to see it, man. I can't because I know like you have a really good, you're a quality boxer, and I know that you have mm -hmm. um, ideas about how maybe you can attack that. So I can't wait to see yeah. that. Um, Puerto Rico versus Mexico is one of the most, the biggest rivalries in boxing, right? In history. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you're from Puerto Rico, of course. Who do you think, what, well, two questions for you in regards to that topic. Who do you think is the quintessential Puerto Rican boxer? Like who's the guy in cross history? And what rivalry do you think fits that best Mexico versus Puerto Rico? I can't pick one. There's I can take three names. I can tell you three names and I'm not, talking bad about any other boxers. I just, I like these three. Yeah. Felix Tito Trinidad, Miguel Cotto, and Rufredo Gomez. Those are my favorite three from Puerto Rico. Those are your favorite three? See, I, I grew and, up... And, and the classic fight that I remember, that I've seen, obviously, I was a little kid, but I've seen it when I was older, was Rufredo Gomez with this Mexican. How was his name? Um, I forgot. Um, 
I don't have his name on my mind, but it was a hell of a fight. They fought 15 rounds. Okay. I don't even know how, how they did it. I'll have to go back in the annals, man. I grew up watching Felix Trinidad, right? And he was a he was a great fighter. I met him when I was my second or third fight. He went to my fights, and he and when I saw him as when I was bigger, he said, "You remember when I saw you then?" I was, you know, I was like, "Wow, he remembers." Oh, that's you know, great. he's a great person. We get called awesome. Yeah, of course that too. And, and with Phil Gomez, I I I met him, but when when I met me uh, Gomez, you know, he was already retired. You know, it's not the same. Yeah, but he's a hell of a fight. Well, I'm excited about your fight. I really think it's going to be a great fight. Co main event of Canelo versus You Dream on February 27th. It's going to yeah, be a good fight. You've had a great career. Um, what I love about your career is I think you lost your fourth fight, right? It was pretty early in your career. Yeah. You lost a decision yeah. in a four round fight, but you yeah. didn't let that keep you from going on to becoming such a successful fighter. So, can you talk a little bit about? that kind of mindset, how you got through that experience? Yeah, um, it, you know, things happen. Um, I got dropped in the fight. I was dominant in the fight, but I did get dropped in one of the rounds. You know, four-round fight, if you get dropped, it, it's uh, it's, it's kind of hard to win, you know, but it happens. It was uh, like uh, something that happened. Then that fighter lost to a, to a fighter that he was supposed to knock out, and he lost by knockout with him. So And then he just decided not to fight anymore, you know. And I was like, wow, he had to he had to beat me, you know what I mean? But I never let that bother me. I kept working hard and, um, you know, trying to be uh, the best fighter I can be. I love that. And you've certainly done that. You've had a great career. You're continuing to have a good career. I can't wait to see you fight. I really think the third time is going to be the charm for you. Um, so yeah, best of luck to you. I'm really grateful to have chatted with you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for the opportunity, Kelsey.